What's the word, y'all? In a couple seconds, the Inside the NBA crew is gonna announce the 2024 NBA All-Star Reserves, and we gonna react to it together. Every year this day, there's so many arguments on Twitter because we gotta, we gotta think about it like this. Our league is as talented as it's ever been. There's only 12 roster spots. We already know five in each conference, so we got seven spots for so many players. When I was talking about it on the Kenny Beaton Podcast, link is in the description, there's like 18 real, real people out west that deserve to be All-Stars. So that means... Six of those, wait, is that no, I'm sorry. Six of those are getting snubbed. And we're about to find out who and, and why, I, I guess. And we're going to talk about it. You know who I think is going to get snubbed? And I don't want this to happen, but one of the Sacramento Kings players is going to get snubbed. I think that Larry Markin is going to get snubbed, um, which all of this sucks. Again, it's only so many roster spots. But those, those are just my predictions right now, and we'll see. I love has like a, a money in the bank type scenario she walks in with the briefcase nobody knows except does she know does any who knows who put together the briefcase is she just the deliverer or did she create it too the, the and, uh, coaches never get some... the real criticism they deserve right when, when your favorite player is snubbed don't blame nobody but the coaches because they do all of the reserves i think it's time we get into this what yes sir oh they can write it to it right at the top of the show i love this yeah. I love this. So Don't, no commercial you. breaks. Let's get us going. About his name of all. I'm going to hand. Nobody on my favorite team is even in contention for All-Star, but I'm nervous. I'm nervous for video. these people, man. From the Los Angeles Clippers, Kawhi Leonard. That was a lock. Yes, Kawhi indeed. Leonard was a lock. We all knew that. He's having an amazing season. Obviously, he's been playing the entire year. I mean, he's been ridiculous. I think he's shooting 60%, 50% from three um, in, in 2024 so far. He's been killing it. The, the Clippers have been killing, killing it. This is a, a non-starter. Everybody should have had Kawhi Kawhi Leonard on their list, easy. From the Los Angeles Lakers, Anthony Davis. There we go. Okay, Anthony Davis should have been a lot too. I'm not mad at Anthony Davis being a lot. Yeah, we talking about two people for the for the Lakers who are below 500 team. It's just the way it is, man. We, those are two of the top 10 to 12 players in basketball. This is no surprise. Um, yeah, they're below 500 and they got two All Stars. It's just the way it is right now. Come on, Kenny, give me some good. Phoenix Suns, Devin Booker. Devin Booker. Okay. Okay. Now, Devin Booker was a guy I had on my ballot, but I wasn't sure if he was going to be an odd man. Now, I mean, he just had 60. He's dropped 50 this season. It makes sense. Now, they're not telling us. Devin Booker, I'm just assuming that means that Devin Booker takes one of the two guard spots that he's not a wild card. And then Kawhi and Anthony Davis are two forwards, but not the wild card. I, I don't know. They don't explain it. Okay. Okay. Easy. Another lock. Another lock. This is going exactly the way I thought it was going to go. It's going exactly where I thought. Um, this is a huge one. This is a huge one right here. This one probably says Stephen Curry. Check my work, Ernie, please, sir. If it, if it is Steph, then that means that that's one of the wild card spots done. Okay. All right. So now we know that one of the wild card spots, because that means that a combination of the two of Devin Booker, Anthony Edwards, and, and uh, Steph Curry were guards. So one of our wild card spots is gone already. So the people that were on the fringes, it's not looking it's not looking great because it's already over. And from the Los Angeles Clippers, Paul George. Paul, Paul George, George is probably the, the forward spot. So there's one spot left nice for time. Larry Markkinen, De'Aaron Fox, DeMontis Sabonis. Who am I forgetting? Uh, um, Alperin Go. Like the list goes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me go to the standards real quick because I'm, for I'm forgetting about some elite players. I already know I'm forgetting about some elite players. It's one roster spot for all of these dudes. Carl Anthony Towns, um, Zion slash Brandon Ingram, like, whew, whew. All right, here we go. Here we go. They put I'm just going to, I'm going to actually open the card and then read it and not try any of that. I already know who it is, Ernie. Here it is. I, I think, okay. Final reserve. Sabonis. Western Conference. Sabonis. From the Minnesota Timberwolves. <gasps> Carl. Carl Anthony Town uh, in the Western <laughs> for the Minnesota Wow, and there we go, Detroit. there we go, there we go. Cat is in. So, so no king, no kings. Wow, no kings at all. I thought they were getting one. What did I say in the beginning? One of the kings is gonna get snubbed, and Larry Market's gonna get snubbed. All three of them. Conference and we just yeah, found out man, that Joel Embiid has a torn time. meniscus. My whole mood just shifted, man. My whole mood just shifted, bro. What the heck, man? Okay, so there's no timetable as of right now, but a torn meniscus is a torn meniscus. I mean, he had already got to the point where he wasn't going to be the MVP because he's just missed so many games. 
But I was I was past that. I just wanted to see a rest of healthy season and a playoff run for Joel Embiid. And now that's less likely. And, uh, for a whole conversation about that, we'll we'll try to get the mood back up when we get to the Eastern Conference. But like, man, that sucks. All right, Eastern sure. Conference time. It's Eastern Conference time. This one, I think Eastern Conference is a little bit easier. I think six of the seven spots is kind of locked up. It's that last wild card spot. Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown was a lock in my opinion. Third time. He was a lock in my opinion. Now, if you watch their game on TV two days ago, the way they were talking, this is against the Pacers. The way they was talking on that broadcast made it seem like the people knew that Derek White, who had got a little bit of buzz, was going to be an all-star. So we're going to see if the, if the speculation has been right. But Jalen Brown was a lock, in my opinion. He's been he's been really good this year, especially after the first, like, two, three weeks of the season. So that's a good one. That's good. From the Cleveland Cavaliers, Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell was a lock. So this is the Eastern Conference, again, is just going to be a lot easier than the Western Conference. Donovan Mitchell has been phenomenal. The Cavs have been on a crazy hot streak. Um, even without Evan Mobley and Darius Garland, who just came back, they were winning a bunch of basketball games. They they beat my, my favorite team a couple times in that run, and he has just been everything to spread offense with Jared Allen down low. It's been perfect. It's been perfect. He was a lock. From the New York Knicks, Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson, absolutely locked. We all knew that, too. So this is going pretty easily, pretty easily so far. In his sixth season. Now, I do want to say that's two guards, right? Again, we don't know who's a wild card or whatever, but right now there's two guards. So let's assume that's it, and then we got a bunch of forwards. So if you are, if you are Trey Young, you're praying that you're in on the wild card now because we got two guards. Because I think Jalen Brown counted as a forward this year. From the Miami Heat, Bam. We knew Bam. Okay, okay. Bam Adebayo was gonna be the Miami Heat representative. That was pretty simple, pretty easy. Another guy that I thought was a lock. So we still got like Paolo. We still got Maxi. Wow. We still got Scotty Barnes. Oh, Trey Young. Like, wow, too. From the New York Knicks. Julius Randle. Julius Randle. Julius, Julius Randle, for sure. He was a lock, but he's out, so we'll probably get an injury replacement. Philadelphia 76. Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey. Okay, so so again, things are going pretty, pretty normal out west. I mean, out east. Everything is going exactly as planned. Um, now I'm thinking about it. Joel Embiid and Julius Randle are probably going to have an injury replacement, so that's interesting. Um, so guys like... Maybe if Scotty gets snubbed, Scotty is the replacement, or if you know what I'm saying. Maybe Scotty makes it all right. I just don't think he will. It's only one spot left. I don't think he's gonna make it, but he might make it on on the back end. One, one spot more? left. Is it Paolo Banquero? Is it Scotty? Is it Trey Young? What if Demar ends up in here? What if Demar? If Demar? What if Demar ends up here? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ernie from the Orlando Magic. Paolo. Yes. All right. So that's all of them, bro. That's every single All Star this year. So no Trey Young. Um, kind of expected that. No Scotty Barnes kind of expected that but again we're going to have two injury replacements and throughout history injury replacements hadn't needed to be like you're you're taking over for Joel Embiid that don't mean you have to be a forward you know what I'm saying so it both of those players could potentially get in there and I'm looking at the rest of the standings um it's not a lot of other candidates it's like yeah you're gonna have Trey Young you're gonna have Scotty Barnes nobody on the Bulls deserve an all-star in my opinion Nobody on the bottom three teams deserve an all-star. So I feel as though those two players are going to get in on injury replacements, which is a dub. Unless those aren't the rules and it has to be two forwards to represent two forwards, then Trey Young is going to be out again. Um, and then they might replace that forward with who? Who would be the next forward that deserves it? Because, like, Porzingis has missed too much time. Jared Allen made his first all-star game as an injury replacement. He had he has been crazy over the last two months, so maybe that's a world. But again, I feel pretty good about injury replacements being Trey Young and Scotty Barnes. Unless they do... Whew, I don't know. I don't know. But th th that was just, just my opinions. I think that the, the coaches did... A good job I mean at the end of the day it's not there's no like oh my god all-stars you know like even the Carthony Townsend which was a surprise to me I'm not mad at it because Cat has been having a phenomenal season I think a lot of people kind of wanted to see it uh, uh, be div divvied up a little bit more so like the Kings are a playoff team with real legitimate all-star talent on their roster with zero like the Pelicans not having an all-star is not that big of a deal because both Brandon and Zion are having good seasons they're not having all-star level seasons. they just have like a really great group of guys you know what I'm saying 
Oh, maybe that's not true. I think Brand is having an all-star caliber season, but you compare his season uh, versus Cat, or you play even his season versus the Sabonises or the Foxes, I don't think he matches up. But like Sabonis and Fox have real all-star cases. And Sabonis has been... I don't know how to explain how how really good he's been uh, this regular season. So just a surprise there, but still not bad because Cat has been 50, 40, 90 on the best team in the Western Conference. So um, again, I think the coaches did a really solid job. Uh, I don't have any real complaints. You let me know in the comment section. I know Kings fans are really, really upset. It's just, I guess, the way it is right now.